Come on, come on, let's get it. Come on, baby. We good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually having the time of my life right now, bro. Mm -hmm. What was the process? What mindset were you in when you were approaching it? So the, first, the oldest song on the album, the first song that we ever recorded that's still on the album is Winter. And it wasn't even called Winter then, it was called Pretty Lady um, at that time. Yeah, so that was, that was what it was called at the time. But um, I was just recording, I was recording music, man. I think I was so frustrated at how everything was sounding, like, out. Like, I was like, this is like such a diverse culture. Like, South Africa is like so diverse. There's so many like different types of people. People are into like different shit. Why is everything sounding the same? That's how I was, how, how I was feeling, you know? And um, so I was just recording joints, recording joints, and then I noticed that it had like a certain sound to it. Like everything was, every joint that uh, beat that Shooter played for me was kind of going like in the same direction. And, and like, it, it just all started like coming together. So at the time I was just recording songs. The craziest thing is, is that from, from Yellow to Empty Highways, it's like, there's a story, right? There's like this, this whole story that I'm sure like whoever's been listening to it will figure out for themselves and how it goes. But it's like, I recorded a whole bunch of different songs and then everything just came together. So at the time, Shooter was just um, sending, me, sending me different beats and getting, getting like the direction right. And like three or four songs into the album when we figured out okay, this is what it has to feel like, this is what it has to sound like. We just kept going and a lot of songs kind of like canceled other songs out. So it was like, I think like so many songs that didn't make it onto the album because like when we figured out, okay, so this is what it has to be, right. all those songs just like fell off like mm -hmm. completely. But we still have them, they're still dope songs, but they just didn't make the cut. So we were recording, 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 recording. And then when I checked, I was like, okay, I think I might be sitting on something that changed my life first first and foremost like when I was done with it and we played it back and everything that was that was happening like the stories told there's not like one piece of that album that's that that didn't come from like the bottom of my heart there wasn't like yeah. uh, lines where you know there weren't tears in my eyes there weren't uh, times where I wasn't in it like every time I was every time I was fucking like rapping that shit back before I was recording like I, like I had to feel it, you know, I had to like kick back and be like, yo, this is for me, first of all, you know, so the album was more of like a, a personal thing first. I know, therapy. yeah, it was therapy. It was very therapeutic for me to get to get everything out. And that's why it's kind of pers it's very personal. So it was it was it was a journey that I would I would like if I could go back again and like just do it over again and again. It would, yeah, man, it's like it's crazy.